What's going on, Kim folk? Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I wanna talk about something that's super duper real, super duper raw, and I wanna talk about lust and loneliness. Cause let's face it, we all get lonely sometimes, especially us single folk. Even people in relationships get lonely, which to me is the worst kind of loneliness. But in this video, I wanna talk to you about ways to deal with lust and loneliness as a single person. Things that you can do to overcome these sometimes overwhelming emotions. So if you need some tips to deal with these cases of lust and loneliness, then keep on watching. This is the most important tip that I can give you when it comes to those sporadic feelings of lust and loneliness, and that is to remember that these emotions will pass. Now, if you feel lonely all the time, then there's definitely a deeper issue here. And I'm not saying that sarcastically. I used to feel lonely all the time, and that's not a healthy place to be in. It's important to learn how to be happy being single, being alone. Being alone is not a curse. I know a lot of people feel like it's a curse, but it's actually a gift. It's time that we should all be utilizing to care for ourselves, to deal with our issues, to become self-aware, and to become whole as individuals first before we're ready to share our lives with someone else. It's also a time to chase your dreams. Once you're in a relationship, you have to be more selfless and you have to consider the other person you're with, which will sometimes take away some of the time that you could be chasing your dreams. And obviously the right person will encourage you to follow your dreams. But again, let's be honest, when we have distractions, it's a little bit more of a challenge to focus on those things sometimes, or we can just get distracted by the ooey gooey feelings that we forget what we truly want for ourselves in our lives because we compromise for the other person. If you are someone who is very comfortable being alone, like myself, then it's just important that you remember that emotions are fleeting. I cannot say that enough. Emotions are so fleeting. You may be a little bit vulnerable right now, but it will pass. It will pass, it will pass, it will pass, it will pass. <laughs> Number two is to pray. I know I just got a whole lot of eye rolls on this one, but hear me out. <laughs> I know this is cliche to say, but it's true. Two things, pray and ask the Lord to remove these emotions from you. The enemy will use these vulnerable times to convince you to make questionable decisions, if you know what I'm saying. But it's important to fight through these moments and not make decisions you regret because of these few moments of lust and loneliness. So put your phones down, do not text him ladies, don't do it. <laughs> and two, ask the Lord to show you where these feelings are coming from. Every emotion has a root. So what are the roots of these feelings? Are you stressed out from work? Are you stressed out about money? Are you PMSing? <laughs> are none of your friends available for you when you feel like you need them in this time and now you feel alone and vulnerable and it's now creating the feelings of longing for a boo thing? There is always a reason, even if it's purely just hormonal, and that's okay. It's just important to learn your patterns and your cycles. Learning yourself in this way will help you to break unhealthy patterns, like getting back into unhealthy relationships when you feel lonely because you chose to text him and now you feel like you can't get out. And it'll help you gain control of your emotions when you feel out of control, because we all have those moments where we feel out of control. Number three, listen to a sermon, read your word, or listen to something, anything motivational. When you start to feel these longings and feelings of being lonely, it often helps to turn on a sermon or something motivational like Les Brown or Wayne Dyer. My favorite pastors, as a lot of you guys know, are Michael Todd of Transformation Church and Stephen Furtick from Elevation Church, for those of you who need suggestions. I also love watching Oprah's Super Soul Sunday. There are so many amazing and inspirational shows on Super Soul Sunday. One of my favorites is Masterclass. Masterclass is where some celebrities actually come on and they share their journeys, where they came from, what got them through tough times, 
how they pave the way. It's incredibly inspiring. And she also has some amazing other people on her show, teachers of vulnerability and complete inspirations. It's an amazing show and you can find a lot of inspirational clips even here on YouTube. I'll link the own network below along with my favorite pastors channel so you can check them out. They always uplift me. So hopefully they can help you. When you start to fill your mind with encouragement and positivity, it will help combat those rising emotions of lust and loneliness. They may not completely go away, but it will redirect your thoughts and get your mind off of it. Once you shift your thinking, then you'll begin to feel better. Where your mind goes, your emotions follow. Number four, journaling. I personally don't think it's ever healthy to bottle up your emotions. And to be honest, it's not always a good idea to discuss your feelings of lust and loneliness with your friends either, unless you have women of God and or a mentor supporting you and encouraging you to be strong and not cave to your emotions. I know a lot of y'all got them friends that will find you someone to fulfill those desires. <laughs> they ain't out here trying to help you live that God life. I did too at one time in my life and that is not who you wanna speak to during times like this, seriously. If you have friends who are encouraging you to live a godly life, talk to them and they'll help you through. But if you don't, keep your mouth shut. <laughs> don't let them find you someone to fulfill those desires. A really great way to sort through your emotions is to journal. If you write out all of your thoughts and feelings in a notebook, then it's almost like a release. It can help you release some of that built up anxiety because a lot of what you're feeling when you're at the height of your emotions and feeling overwhelmed is just anxiety. So if you take the time to journal your thoughts, what you're feeling and anything that's on your mind, then it really helps to eliminate some of that emotion. Number five, go for a walk or go work out. Getting your endorphins going is just a great way to combat feelings of lust and loneliness. Connecting with nature is a sure way to get your spirits up. I know it sounds cheesy, but it's true. Get some fresh air or burn some energy to take your mind off of your feelings. If it's raining or you're just an introvert like I am and don't feel like leaving the house, then clean. <laughs> Move things around, change your environment and make it sparkle. That always feels amazing. When you change your environment and you have a clean space, you have a clean your mind. You can be a strong woman who is independent and don't feel the need to be in a relationship like me, but every now and then those feelings of lust and loneliness will come and they will smack you upside your head. We all have them. But the most important thing is to remember that it will pass. But it's tough out here in these streets sometimes. So I hope that my five tips help you the way they help me when I feel this way. So if it helped you and you like this video, then give me a thumbs up and share it with anyone else that you think could benefit from it. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification button to be updated on my next post. And I'll see you all in the next video. I love you guys.